Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. In today's video, we have this extremely simple, super quick makeup look going on. Um, this is, I think, suitable for every occasion and this is going to be very helpful if you're a mom. This is just super easy, handy, simple and very quick and I just did it in 10 minutes. So yeah, if you're wondering how I created this look then keep watching. Um, first of all, don't mind this hair because you can see my taping extensions, blah, 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 blah. Also, I have a new chair, so yay! It feels very, very comfy, by the way. But uh, yeah, you guys know, obviously, I love to play with makeup. And when I do, I don't feel like I'm transforming myself. But, you know, I like to try out different things. And I don't mind transforming myself if I want to. But I also have like a go-to makeup look, which feels very me. So this is just me enhancing the things I have, not really changing anything. I have like a glam go-to look, but I also have like a simple go to look when i'm kind of in a rush so i'm going to try to do this in like 10 minutes i also think that this makeup look is going to be very suitable for almost every occasion let's say you're in a rush it's for work a job interview maybe for a wedding if you're not really all about that you know glam and colorful eye looks and smoky eyes so yeah that is what we're going to do today and yeah let's start first thing that i'm going to use is this uh, smashbox primer which i haven't used in a while it's photo finish radiance primer Okay, like that, that, ba, 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 ba. Just going to blend out with my fingers. I have a huge spot over here. Then I'm going in with my Givenchy Everwear foundation, which I really love. And I'm using one of my favorite affordable brushes, BH Cosmetics in 123. As you guys know, I don't use a lot and I really like this foundation because it doesn't look so cakey. So when I go to a meeting and I don't want to look, you know, too glam, I can just put this foundation on and it looks like skin. Then I like to go in with my Born This Way concealers. Um, if I'm in a rush, I just use both at the same time. So this is the lighter one, like that. And natural beige is to, you know, cover my dark circles. And, you know, to have a little bit more extra coverage. Like that. And then for this part right here, I'm using a large eye blending brush. As you can see, I'm doing it pretty quick because if I'm in a rush, I feel a lot of pressure, but that's a good thing because I can really work under pressure. Then I take this Sisley bronzer. This is kind of like a, yeah, it's a glowing sun glow bronzing gel powder. It's a very weird texture. It's just, I can't really describe this product, but I would just say like a, like a shiny bronzer, I think. And you just get this beautiful sun-kissed glow. So I'm going in, did I already mention the brand? It's from Sisley. And this is my BH Cosmetics brush in number four. And I'm roughly going to bronze up my whole face. So not really contour, but more like, you know, make it really sun-kissed. Just over here, forehead. After that, I'm taking my bronzer from Jouer Cosmetics. This is in the shade Dark. I'm still using the same brush. And I'm going to define my contour a little bit, as well as contouring the forehead, because I have a pretty wide forehead. I'm using this Cheeky Summer Blush Duo. It's one of my fave from Jouer. And what I really love about this, it already has some shimmer to it. So... Like when I'm in a rush, I want to use as many two-in-one products as possible. So I just go in with this. Okay, don't think about it too much. I'm just placing it right here. It's just going to give you that beautiful, healthy glow. We need to make sure that this spot stays matte. Okay, and then I do my brows very simple. I'm taking my, uh, precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. This is in 3.5. And I'm just going to fill them in a little bit. And then my Caramel Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Bum, 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 bum. They don't look as fleeky, you know, in comparison to my glam looks, but that's okay because sometimes I do feel like it looks a bit weird when your brows are perfect and the rest of your makeup is kind of like glowy and bronze it's just i don't know for some reason it does look a little bit more natural like this this is optional but it's way faster than defining your brows with concealer i just take this brow contour pro from benefit and then i use the definer shade and i'm just quickly cleaning that up 
Okay, I don't press too hard because if you have like a harsh line over there, it's really hard to blend it. I dip into my bronzer with a very large brush. This is not even meant to use on your eyes, but I just do it and it works. So I'm just, you know, I'm just warming them up a little bit. So I don't know, like I have some sort of shadow going on on my eyes. I take a smaller brush and I'm doing the same with my lower lash line. I take my black pencil from Benefit and I am going to tight line. You can use the same black pencil, but on a daily basis, I prefer using a brown pencil. It's the same, but it's, you know, it's brown. So it looks a bit softer and then I kind of like smudge it. I'm taking my Givenchy Glow Powder. This is in 4.5 and I'm just going to, you know, give my cheekbones a little bit of a glow without looking too, you know, Instagram-ish, face-tuned. Like we still want everything to look natural, you know? Like that, and the nose, lips. So give your inner corners a touch of highlighter. It's going to make you look very awake. Using MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. And then for lips, I'm going to use the shade Parker from ColourPop. Not applying it too much, but just so we have a little bit of color on our lips. I either don't use mascara at all or just like the tiniest bit. Um, so what I do, if I use it, I quickly curl my lashes with the Tweezer Man Curler. I'm using my MAC Extra Lash Dimension Mascara. And then to finish off, I'm going to powder everything with my Hydrate Powder from Jouer and this is in the shade Fair. I'm taking this very large powder brush from BH Cosmetics and number one. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is in its place. It's kind of like the buffing technique. And then last but not least, I'm going to use my fixing and setting spray from Forsali. So there you go. This is my 10 minute glam. Um, I did another tutorial on how to, you know, fake a hairline and how to wear your hair in a ponytail while you're having taping extensions. But yeah, I feel very confident in this makeup look. It's very quick. It's easy. When my husband says that I have to get ready in 10 minutes, I'm like, no problem. And usually this is just what I wear. If I have a little bit more time, obviously I glam a little bit more, add a little bit of a fake lash right here. Maybe use a little bit more blush and, you know, just do a little bit more. But this is just my super simple go to glam when I have basically almost no time. I hope you guys find it a little bit helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.